Some start out their sailing videos with some extreme photos, like these. Others with wet and wild videos like these. But I just did two, I guess, so here we go. Milgas for Teens have been sweeping the nation for a few years now and for good reason. This double-handed boat is simple, high performance, fast, and easy to pack up and bring around the country. I bought my own Melgus 15 last winter at the third event and was back, ready for action with my friend Nick Muzia for 2024. For three weekends, one in January, February, and March, the Midwinter Series brings the fleets together at the U.S. Sailing Center of Martin County in Jensen Beach, Florida. Series number one had 91 boats turn up with full support from Melgus. I really want to thank all of you for coming and for being a part of the Novus 15 community. I think we've really built something special here with, uh, with all of you guys, and I so appreciate each and every one of you. Joining the party was the full presence of Vaccaros. Doug Wake and Will Hurth sorted out 91 personal and borrowed Atlas IIs so that everyone had access to compass heading, speed, and angle of heel and trim. What was new for this event was adding Race Sense, which links up the entire fleet into one living, breathing tech dream. Our whole philosophy behind building Race Sense was that you were using a unit that you were already going to have on your boat. It allows you the ability to replay your tracks and learn from them with your heel angle, your trim angle, your speed, your heading. And then Race Sense adds a whole nother element. And what that allows for is better race management, fairer racing, more fun on the water. And at the end of the day, that's what most of us are here for. I'm Alan Regstead, I'm from White Bear Lake. I sailed this regatta with my best friend Patrick. Hi, I'm Ryan Keenan, my boat is 286, and I'm 17, I'm from Miami, Florida. Hey, I'm Mark Gorman uh, from Sarasota, sailing today on USA 167 with my daughter Dylan Gorman. We really enjoyed using the Vercaris unit, we've had one for quite some time, we've used it on multiple boats, uh, but today with Race Sense and this weekend has been phenomenal. The technology is such that with, with everything programmed and the mesh network that they have, there were no buttons to push the whole weekend. Getting into like understanding what the race sense did was really not that hard. Like I thought it was going to be really tricky, but you just kind of had to press the on button. Between 89 and 91 boats starting the races, and the race sense worked phenomenal. The, the biggest difference with the software is you're going to have a unit on your starting pole of the flag. We had people from Vaccaros running the tablet for us, so they run it. They know, they can tell all the boats are talking to them, so we know how many boats are there, what's going on. I tell them what time I want to start the race, they plug that in, it automatically starts all the timers for all the boats. Good job, hold the spot. Just let me know if you need back wind, I'll back it down. They were setting them 15 minutes or so before the start, which was great. The race committee communicated with us over the radio. It auto pings the line. Once it starts, it's really cool because it'll like the lights will turn red, like they're angry if you're over, and then it'll tell you if you're all clear. All of a sudden, I could see if it was an individual or if it was clean, and if it was individual, we had the individual come up, and within six to seven seconds, all of a sudden the tablet lit up of here's the boats in our OCS. It, that was really slick to be able to do that. It really helped. I mean, like I was over one race, and like it flashed red immediately at the start, went around the pin end, and still had a good race. I actually really liked it. It made the race more fair because you can't really hide behind other people even though I used to do that in, in the C420s. <laughs> they know where you are. We thought we were hitting a couple times because that's what I'm used to. Pulled the trigger. We were over three out of four races. So it's fun learning that whole thing. It was a blast. We had a general recall out there today and it was really easy to find out. You didn't have to wait on the radio. We didn't have to have a midline boat. It was less race committee, not trying to get rid of race committee, but it's hard to find more people. And this way, having just a pin end and a starboard end made it really easy and the system worked. I mean, it's exciting. If you get an opportunity to use it, I would. And I think every fleet should be looking at it because it's going to make your job a lot easier. The future is here. The Atlas II is customizable to the owner's needs in terms of display and fleet's desires. Distance to the line pre-start is something the Melgus 15s didn't want. No problem, that feature can get flipped off. Go, go, go.
Travis and Monica ended up taking fifth overall, even with their OCSs. Race sense, thank you. <laughs> some Annapolitans got some cases of Spotted Cow, a local brew to Wisconsin, where Melgases are made. Husband and wife team Ron and Bonnie Steele took top Mega Master. And Ron's bro, Scott Steele, with crew Elliot Capel, took top Grandmaster. Ryan Keenan and Esteban Ferrer from Coral Reef Yacht Club in Miami took sixth overall and top youth. Dana Haig and Nika Silken from Little Egg Harbor, New Jersey, fourth overall and top female. Third overall, Ricky Welch and Mitchell Martin from St. Louis, Missouri. In second, Pete McGriff and JJ Smith hailing from Port Towson, Washington State, who won the last race of the event after being OCS. They knew within a quarter second because of race sets, so they were able to restart and battle back. And first overall, Luke Arnone and Cameron Giblin repping the Manilokan Yacht Club in New Jersey. Uh, we just, just like to thank everyone for coming out. This is a great turnout for a uh, team regatta. We were kind of there on yeah, the East Coast watching it uh, build, and this is like a great milestone for this fleet. And uh, just really thankful for the Sailing Center for putting this on, and we're really looking forward to the next two events out here. So uh, see you guys then. And <laughs> Congrats to everyone, and a big shout out to Melgus for bringing this boat into the world, and to Vicaros for all they're doing with tech to help the sport of sailing. For T2P TV, I'm Ashley Love.